The governor of River State, Seminala Ifubara, says it is only right for anyone in leadership to have a successor who will be greater than him. He said this at the Send Forth Dinner organized by the Body of Ventures on behalf of Justice Mary Peter Odili as she hands over to Adegwega Awomolo at the end of her one-year tenure. Judiciary correspondent Celestine Area reports. A good succession plan in leadership is key for continuity and stability. For the leadership of the body of benches, this is critical as Justice Mary Peter Odili hands over to Adegbo Iga Womolo as the 52nd chairman of the body of benches. Justice Odili has completed her one-year tenure as chairman. In the new leadership, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olukai Odeariwola, is the Vice Chairman of the body. Is celebrating with a set for dinner. She is a wonderful woman. Ahead of the new tax, the 52nd Chairman of the Body of Benches, Adigbo Iga Womolo, says it is not enough to get judgment. What is important is justice and his leadership will ensure that this is represented in the justice system. At the moment, Nigerians are skeptic or worried about judgments coming from courts without justice. And it's our duty as the highest body of distinguished members in the profession to ensure that everybody plays the role according to the rules, play the rules according to the ethics and in a disciplined manner. On the amendment of the constitution, the body of benchers is ready to work with the National Assembly to address the lapses in the constitution. The confidence in the judiciary has to be restored and corrupt judges should be exposed. Nigerians are complaining about our constitution. It's our responsibility as leaders of the legal profession to beam light into such areas that will give Nigerians satisfaction that the constitution is really good. No of any judge or justices who is corrupt, don't hide them. If you know any lawyer or any legal practitioner who is an agent of fraud, agent of corruption, please expose to the body of Benjamin. Right from the time where I was with the judge in our state, River State, she did an excellent job there. It's only a good product that can be got a good product. Justice Mary Peter Odili will continue to contribute to the jurisprudence of the country as a member of the National Judicial Council. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja. For more on this, the new chairman body of benchers, Adegbu Gawomolo, SAN, joins me on the news at 7. Thank you very much for joining us on TVC News at 7. And congratulations on your emergence as the new chairman of the body of benchers. Tell us, what is your agenda? Thank you very much. Um, the body of venture is by statute the body of men and women of the highest distinction in the legal profession. And so we are a very major stakeholder in the administration of justice. And we must be, we must be able to understand the expectations and the yearnings of Nigeria with respect to administration of justice. As I said, it's not enough that courts give judgment. That judgment must reflect justice. I mean, not justice to the plaintiff, to the defendant, but justice to the society whose tax, whose uh, tax, you know, is is used to pay salaries, conditions, and allowances of judges. Not only that, God is the is the creator of that institution called justice, and therefore every judge, every justice, is an agent of the Most High God. Therefore we must be able to ensure that judgment reflects justice. Our major agenda for this one year is to ensure that judiciary inspire the confidence of Nigerians. We must also ensure that interpretation of constitution, interpretation of contracts, and the administration of justice generally from the grassroots, now talking about customary law, I mean customary courts, magistrate courts, High Court, up to the Supreme Court, they must reflect the principle of justice in every sense. And as the major stakeholder, 
We are also concerned about the welfare and the, uh, the, 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 the totality of the, the, the judiciary and the Ministry of Justice. Take, for example, appointment, discipline, and, the, and the, the, the removal of judges. They are very significant, you know, in inspiring justice, in encouraging judicial officers, and all the like. So right. the constitution must reflect the desire of Nigerians. We are, we, are, we are at the moment doing the sixth alteration to the constitution of 1999. There all are right. so many areas. Indeed. That, that require attention. So we will contribute our quota in the process of administration of justice and amendment of the constitution. All right. Let's talk about another critical matter. In the build up to the 2023 general election, and even afterwards, there was a campaign of calumny against judicial officers. What are your plans to change the perception? Well, what we call campaign of calumny is not necessarily so. It is that will be your own judgment, but the truth is that every allegation of corruption, every allegation of impropriety or abuse of the powers that the constitution and the law invested in the judicial officers must be must be investigated. I mean, where it is found that the allegation is spurious and the allegation is baseless, whoever made the allegation must be made to face the rock law. It discourage frivolous acquisition of judges and discouraging judicial officers. For me, the judicial, National Judicial Council will strengthen its investigatory and disciplinary proceedings such that innocent judges are not punished, but corrupt judges and judges that are found to be uh, of blemish will be thrown out and taken out of the judiciary. I can, I can confess to you that happened in many jurisdictions of the world. And heaven is not fall. So heaven will certainly not fall where judicial officers who are corrupt, who are shown to be to perverse cause of justice, are shown the way out in Nigeria too. All right then. I, I would hold you for a for a moment while we take this breaking news and then we'll return to the conversation. News just in says Catherine, Princess of Wales, has been diagnosed with cancer as is in the early stages of treatment. The announcement, which the princess described as a huge shock, came in a video message. Catherine, Princess of Wales, has been diagnosed with cancer and is in the early stages of treatment. We'll bring you updates later. I'm speaking with the chairman body of ventures, Adegbuiga Awomolo, S-A-N. Earlier, you were referring to the NGC. Talk to us about what your relationship would be with the NGC and NBA. is is represented on the, on the body of uh, ventures. You know, the president and nominees of the uh, Nigerian Bar Association are members of the body of benchers. So every decision taken by the body of benchers captures the, the thoughts and the desire and the aspirations of Nigerian Bar Association. Now, on the NJC, the Nigerian Bar Association is represented there. And the Chief Justice of Nigeria, who is the vice chairman, is the chairman of the body of benchers. So you find that that the body of benchers will play a complementary but significant role in the uh, in the administration of justice and decisions of the uh, NJC. You realize that the NJC is the appointing authority, the disciplinary authority, who can recommend removal of, of judicial officers all over Nigeria. So therefore, we have a complementary role. And our voice there will be very significant in ensuring that not only that justice is done, but manifestly seen to be done in every aspect of administration of justice in Nigeria. But let me tell you this. In the last five, five years, the body of Benja has admitted not less than 5,000 new legal practitioners every year. So if you are talking about 25,000 lawyers in the last five years, there is no doubt that the number of one or two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten at the most 
undesirable elements have entered the legal profession, or they have come with their own baggage to the extent that they can now begin to uh, disrupt the harmony, disrupt the goodwill and the good, and the good uh, assessment of judicial officers or legal officers or uh, legal practitioners in Nigeria. But we have we have revigorated the disciplinary committee of legal practitioners. Practitioners, they call it disciplinary committee of legal practitioners. They have been given wider power and stronger powers to be able to deal with these miscreants who are bringing the Nigerian judiciary or legal profession into the dishonor. And Nigerians have access to the body of benchers to report directly to us any legal practitioner who misconducts himself in carrying out his the client's instruction. I, I am aware that a number of other uh, measures will be taken to ensure from the law school to ensure that all legal pressure that are produced in Nigeria have the best quality. So we will give attention, very serious attention, to the, the lawyers, the character and uh, of the lawyers that have been brought up or that have been introduced to the Nigerian environment such that we will have credits uh, and men of character and learning. So therefore, our agenda is very comprehensive with respect to the totality of administration of justice in Nigeria. And of course, the constitution that Nigeria deserves. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing so greatly with us. I've been speaking with the chairman, body of ventures, Adegbo Yega, Awomolo SA. And thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 7. Thank you for the opportunity, and I wish you well in the TVC. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.